Bilal, are you all right? I am fine. Was it that dream again? Here, I was saving this for you. <laughs> There's a piece of it missing. <clears throat> well, I'm waiting. Oh. <laughs> Why, thank you, my wonderful, amazing sister. You are very welcome, my loving brother. <laughs> that is more like it. What can one do him by? Well, to start, a blessing from one of the gods. Maybe one of them will bring you something to stop your nightmares. Where would these gods when mother needed them? I will buy you something sweet to eat instead. <gasps> Move it! I will get it. in all colors and shapes and make your wishes come true. Idols for fame, idols for strength, idols for fertility, idols for beauty. I can see that you definitely don't need an idol for beauty. The idol needs you. <laughs> Thank you. But for fertility, you want to bear a son, don't you? With this, you can bear triplets! <laughs>
the idols see all. The idols know all. Spray not into the desert sands, lest the harsh flames of wrath consume you. Come, enter, prove your faith with wealth and gifts. Appease the idol's anger, or else. Come, boy, come! You wish to be free of your nightmares, don't you? Take that coin from your pocket. No offering too small, no wish too big. You can have whatever you desire. <laughs> the idols see all. You missed on purpose. My arrows need worthy targets. I wouldn't waste them on a chicken. But a deer. Where, where would we find a deer? Oh. What? Hmm. Safwan, what are you doing? <laughs> Safwan. There's a deer. A black one. <laughs> Over here, slave! I said, come here. Stop, slave! I command you! <laughs> the deer thinks it's a lion. Yeah, you better watch out. You! Better watch out. I uh, was uh, oh, just kidding. Shut up. Now get her. <laughs> <laughs> Your deer <laughs> in his tail. You will not harm her. How dare you give me an order? Teach this rat a lesson. Please forgive him, Master Safon. Hey! What are you boys doing? 
Oh, I, I, I didn't, I didn't know it was you, young master Safwan. Apologies. Are these slaves bothering you? I'll thrash them if they are. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Tell your father I'll deliver his order today. <laughs> Gufaira, did they hurt you? I should have been here to protect you. I will never let anyone hurt you ever again. You can't ask for a better servant on your trading missions. Oh, no. <gasps> that one is not quite as clever, but he is as strong as an ox. <sighs> I'll take him. You will? I, I mean, excellent choice. <laughs> He's a bit expensive, but I know the gods have been generous to you. My dear. Dearest Umaya. <laughs> Okba, one of these days I'm going to dip your tongue in a bowl of dry sand. Have him delivered. <gasps> oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh, Mr. Umaya. Oh, gracious, magnificent. <laughs> Your Honor, I have the idols you ordered. Should I bring them to your home or to the shop in the market? What do you think? Uh, um, uh, the market, you idiot. And the next time you are late, I won't pay. A thousand pardons. It won't happen again. I was delayed. I, I had to come to the aid of your son, Safwan. Hmm? What about Safwan? He was being assaulted by a slave boy. Which slave? They called him Bilal. He, he, he had your son on the ground, but I, I pulled him off. <laughs> Saved him from a thrashing. Enough. <sighs> Take these idols to my stall at once or forget the deal. Yes, sir. Of course. Right away. Bilal. Pick it up. I said, pick it up. <laughs> Whose apple is this? Whose is it? Yours. Yours. And what is the difference between you and this apple? No difference, sir. <sighs> Don't you forget it again. Take him out to the courtyard and whip him. Move! <laughs> No matter what you do, a master breeds a master, and a slave breeds a slave. Father, I hope you are going to teach him a lesson. He'll never... How could you let a slave beat you? Bilal's lying, Father. The slave, he's lying. He did not beat... 
You made me look like a fool. Stop it. Stop it, I say. Listen. He isn't crying. You shouldn't be crying either. I don't care what happened. Don't ever let a slave embarrass me in public again. Mother, what kind of man was my father? Your father was a great man. What do you want to be when you grow up, Bilal? Hmm. A farmer? Or maybe a merchant that makes a lot of money? <gasps> I want to be a great warrior. <laughs> and that's what you will be. A great <gasps> warrior. <laughs> With a beautiful yeah. voice. And I want to ride on a big horse. And I will fight enemies and protect you and Gufaira. That's very honorable, Bilal. But remember, a sword and a horse cannot make you a great man. They can't? No. Being a great man means living without chains. Huh. Chains? No, <laughs> no. The ones you can't see. The ones... In here. Inside me. Mm -hmm. Being a warrior won't make you a great man if you are chained to anger and vengeance. Superstition and fear are chains too, and there are others. To be a great man, you have to break free of them all. But how do I do that? I can't see inside me. I can. And I see the heart of a great man, Bilal. You'll find the way. Guidance will come. You'll see. No chains will hold you. No chains. You are wrong, Mother. I am a slave. And I will always be in chains. Why did they have to whip you? You didn't do anything. It does not matter. Master Umai can do whatever he wants with us. Bilal. Look at what I found. I know you didn't mean to lose this. You can still use it to make an offering. I heard the priest say big blessings can come from small gifts. I don't need it. I'm never gonna hope for anything again. I am a slave, and no god in the market has the power to change that. All right, I'll keep it. And I won't spend it either. It's yours. I'll keep it safe for you until you ask for it back.
Very funny. That horse amazes me every single time. It never gets old. <laughs> it's only been twice. <laughs> Today. <laughs> You just love to show off, don't you, Sal? Besides, you have all the time and money to practice. You need more than money to be the best at what you do. You need a great deal of determination. Huh. Right. So your determination is to hunt fruit? I have to get back. Believe me, you do not want to upset Master Umaya. Tell me something, Bilal. Why don't you just start riding and keep on going? Across those dunes to wherever they may lead. And find my palace? More likely I'd find it, only to end up working in it. See you later, Apple Hunter. <laughs> Here. Hmm? For your troubles. Till next time, my friend. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
rather pay from your own pocket than to see this god lose its wealth. I wanted to spare the boy a beating. Ah, then you care more for a beggar boy than an idol? Don't you believe the promises of the priests? My apologies, sir. I am just a slave and know no better. Don't you? Or do you? You're no Priest, you're the Lord of Merchants, Al Sadiq. Indeed. Are you kneeling because you thought I was a priest? Or was it my question that frightened you? Get up, son. Do not be afraid. <laughs> no, sir. I am not frightened. <laughs> you seem amused. Your Honor, what do you know about fear? I have seen enough of it in the eyes of the people. Enough to understand what makes slaves of the many. A woman is afraid she will bear a girl. She pays an offering and begs the idols to fix it. A rich man fears poverty. He shares a little of his money with the gods and promises more if they help him stay wealthy. An old man fears death. So he pays a priest for deliverance. This fear compels them to seek refuge in these gods. Gods of greed, of injustice. With hope that all of their problems will go away. Surely this sacred structure was not built to house all of this corruption. It was built so that all mankind could stand together as equals and follow the one creator. Except for slaves. Son, no one is born a slave. You were free once, were you not? I was. Once. A long time ago. Devils raided my village. Destroyed my home. They took me and Gufaira, my sister. What about your... She still talks to me. Sir, all this talk of equality is wishful thinking. It holds no meaning to me. So save your speech for a man who can afford this thing you are selling. Young man, life is more generous than you may think. I am not here to sell anything. It may be, sir, but not for slaves. My master is expecting these. I must return. Whom do you serve? Master Umaya, the greatest man in the city. And what is your name, son? Bilal. Bilal. I saw greatness in the hand that saved that boy today. And remember, great men are those who have the will to choose their own destiny.
answer. How many times do I have to remind you? Kneel when you come before me, slave. Kneel. Hmm. Few are born to rule. Others to serve. You do not look good on your knees, brother. Get up, my friend. You need to see what I got for the feast tonight. You will love it. Sister Gufaira. Milady, I am Sohaib. First rate slave and blacksmith extraordinaire. <laughs> yes, a funny man. Where were you? It's almost time for the feast. They will whip you if you are late. Nowhere. The master told me to fetch someone. Did he harm you? I would have turned this Safwan into a sack of potatoes if I had only gotten there sooner. That princess. He and that little goon who follows him. You must remain strong, Bilal. They are only as strong as the fear they put inside of us. We must never give in. <laughs> All right. Back to work. Behold. Special delivery to your master from my master. That's very shiny. Hmm. Nice work, so high. <laughs> yes, it's my finest one yet. <laughs> this Al Sadiq, I cannot believe. This man goes about this speaking against the gods. Every day. Every day. How many follow me? I do not. You leave too much exposed. You rely too much on luck. Luck favors the bold. Perhaps. But are you willing to risk it in the real world? Hmm? You ask as if you don't know me. I ask because I see a threat looming. You are truly obsessed with this nonsense. This nonsense can strike you where you stand, Umaya. Let's make an example out of them. A reminder to those who dare stand against us. After all, we have a business to take care of. Abu al-Hakim, as always, you have managed to ruin my evening with your concerns. Bilal, come, sing for us. Let's lighten the mood. Ah, uh, yes. I have heard my slave speaking of this one's voice. Let's hear it. Distant shadows, mountains and trees. Here I stand, as she shelters me. Distant shadows, as dark as night. The sky cries to us all as it sends down its tears. Here I stand as she shelters me. Distant shadows, mother, please hide. They draw so near all these shadows. Why are they so close? 
rose as the sky sends down its tears. <laughs> for me. Sinners. Blasphemers. What are you looking at? I sound slave. You quench your thirst from the waters that our gods have provided you. Yet what do you offer in return? Ah, nothing. Today you repent your sins to me, traitors. These dogs, these sinners, they must be disciplined, and so does. <laughs> ah, ah. <laughs> and so does who, coward? You call yourselves men. You're a disgrace to Maka and to your forefathers. Since when were these waters not free for all? And know this I only see God through the actions of men. Your savagery today uncovered the true color of your belief. So fight me, or get out of my sight. Hamza.
You arrived just in time, old friend. Al Siddiq, it has been too long. Come, we have much to talk about. Come on, Bilal, help me get him up. My people, take as much as you need from the Zamzam way. No soldier will stop you. Do you believe change will come, even for us? Maybe. Mother believed so. Why are you asking? Bilal. This morning, I went to see him again. And who could this be? There are no young thieves to save out here. Sir, what did you mean before? That we choose? Are you offering to buy me? <laughs> Would you like me to? Well, you seem like a better master than the one I serve now. Believe it or not, Bilal, your master is a slave himself. <laughs> really? And who is his master? <laughs> Greed, the worst of them all. Are you saying that no one is ever free? I am not. Then how will I ever be free? Only you can enslave yourself, Bilal. I... I apologize. I just... I've never been treated with such kindness before, and I... I still... I don't understand... why a noble like you would want... to help someone like me. Is there something you expect me to do in return? You see, Bilal... This man once guided me when I was truly lost. A great and noble man who spreads the message of equality. I have chosen to do the same. So here we stand. And who knows, Bilal? Perhaps one day you will inspire the hearts of many as well. Me? How can I do that? Come, sit. You sought me out to talk to me, didn't you? Let's talk. So, our mother was right. Yes, she was. It always seemed that way. She was always so very wise. A toast to my son, Safwan. He had the business sense to make a killing on those little idols. Now he can afford to host his first feast. Are you still sulking because you passed up a good deal? I told you these portable idols would sell. It may be the last money any of us ever make. What are you talking about? There's a fortune in these little idols. You should have heard the priests hawking them today in the market. You were not there later. There was a dispute, and the people listened. A dispute? Who created this dispute? Wolves from the New Movement. Their reputation is spreading like wildfire across the city. Oh, not this business again. If you tell me there's an army coming, I'll worry. What about their talk of freedom? Do you worry about that? What are you talking about? They say we are preying on the people's desperation. They say that a real god would never ask for a man's fortune. What happens to our business if this message takes hold? And how long do you think the other merchants will tolerate such a message? They will soon be laughed out of town, or someone will strike a deal with them. You'll see.
Look around. There is only one God, and it is money. That is the true faith of this city. Well, these days, not all our merchants are worshipping the idols. Where is that lazy one who used to sell idols in sacks? He joined the movement the other day. And what about the Lord of Merchants? Where is he? Uh, joined them too, a long time ago. Hmm. Uh, uh, come is right. People still buy my day titles. But I think they're eating them for dessert. <laughs> Are there any other traitors in my house? Well, stand and reveal yourselves. Maybe you should ask your slave. What? What are you talking about? Slave. Why don't you tell my father about your newfound friend? Impossible. You must be mistaken. There are no traitors in my household. Right, Bilal? Speak up. Safwan has accused you of something. What do you have to say for yourself? I said speak up, slave. You have my permission to talk. We are all born equals. We breathe the same air. We bleed the same color. And will die and be buried beneath the same ground. I believe I am as free a man as you are. Free? Equal? I hate these words. Oh, Maya, this one woke up on the wrong side of the ground today. Free equals, huh? Oh, everyone, look here. We are both equals. Ah! You once slapped my face because I let this slave make a fool of you. What are you going to do now, father? Guards! Being a great man begins with taking off your chains. Humanity is a single. For those who look out, only dream. And what is the difference between you? When you 
are awakened, your story will race out of this desert across the world. Men are tested. Below. You awake? Good. You're braver than I thought. I take credit for that. It comes from watching me all these years, I'm sure. It took guts to reveal yourself like that. But sadly, you still think like a slave. get you back on track with a little secret. See, I never believed in these gods. No, 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 I'm not a fool. The truth is, we are both slaves, Bilal. The difference between us is I worship whatever empowers me. You worship something that will destroy you. A free man would have sought out the profit in this situation. For example, a free man might offer to spy on his master's enemies. He might realize the advantage in that. Do you understand what I'm saying, Bilal? Get him some water. Should I take off these chains? What do you say, Bella? My chains are already off. That's funny, because I see them. Well, does your invisible god make other things invisible too? I'm talking about the chains in here. Stop talking in riddles. Do you know how much trouble you're in? I can have you killed right now. It doesn't matter what you do to me. And there's nothing you can give me. I am already free. And what about your sister? Is she free too? So are you going to consider my proposition or not? You wanted a horse. I will give you two. And I will provide both you and your sister a home. This is why you are a slave while I am rich. You don't recognize when you have been given an opportunity. Too bad. Then kill me. I'm not going to kill you. <gasps> Yet you might still die. Time has come.
you call him to? Is he stronger than I am? Is he stronger than my gods? For with their power and mine, I can have you killed or set free. This is my god. Do you want it to come to your aid? Accept, and I will ask it to absolve you of your sins. I've already offered a fair price for him. Very fair. Then what is the reason for bringing him out here? Then he is of no value to me, and the deal is off. We'll see. This slave has been charged with the most heinous of crimes. He stands against his masters. For this offense, he will be punished. for forgiveness and accept us as your real masters and these as your true gods how many gods are there can you count slave one only one I would have given all I own for him. For a slave? No. For a brother. Don't tell me that this new movement makes slaves and nobles brothers. Pay the same for her. You're asking the wrong person. I gave her to Safwan as a gift. I won't sell her. Not even for your whole business. Take her. No! What is the meaning of this? One hand! Stop! Stop. Ever be grateful for you have saved my life to save one life my brother is like saving all humanity 
So how does it feel to walk the streets of Maka as a free man? It feels good just to be walking. <laughs> Where's Sohai? With Hamza and the Lord of Merchants. They wait for us at the gate. Word of your defiance makes its way through all the city. Umaya and his slave masters will come for you, Bilal. We must leave. Where will we go? To a great city. One that welcomes us with open arms. Attractive, isn't it? Man crafted the blade to hunt and provide food for his family. These days, men use it to break each other. <laughs> its true purpose and value has been lost. Will you teach me how to fight? Why? You think if you had wielded a weapon, the outcome might have been in your favor? Or do you seek to take what you desire with the sword? Remember, I can only show you how to use it, but you alone must decide where and when. Violence does not always solve disputes. Do not allow yourself to be lured into a battle you can avoid. When do we start? As soon as you put back the sword and pick up that stick. Try some sparring. Show me what you've got, rookie. Ha! Huh. After you, apple hunter. <laughs> Turn it up. Duck. Now, Perry, as we practiced, Bilal, as we practiced.
Cool down, Bilal. Never strike in anger. We will free her, Bilal. Do not lose hope. He who conquers his anger is strong. He who forgives when having the power to seek revenge will witness glory. I promise. I will try hard. Promise me to train this. True strength is in the mind, Bilal, not in the weapon. And that is Hamza's secret. One day, you will discover your own secret. Mother, watch me build a home. Watch us build a house where we can gather to spread hope, hope to inspire the hearts of men. asks that you call out to them, Master Bilal. From here, I will call them. Show me. Show me how your voice will inspire. How it will be raised to speak for justice and equality. What I feared is happening, Umayya. They're growing in strength and numbers. Are we to stand here and do nothing? He is right, Father. When a slave defies his master, the world turns upside down. We will begin here, tonight. Assemble a great army to crush each and every place that shelters them. Let it start with our own households. 
root them all out, and kill them. Magnificent horse. Yeah. It followed us on our way back. <laughs> do you know him? I do. We are old friends. <laughs> he was once owned by Umbaya. Hmm. Seems he has escaped his oppression as well. Take good care of him. The persecution grows worse every day. We have lost so much, but we were lucky. We have escaped. The ones who remain, I fear, may soon lose their lives. A message for you, from the son of Umaya. Where is Bilal? He's over there, by that. of you. We're the only ones left. Time to meet your god. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm not leaving without you. Hurry! I knew I would find you here. I have no words that can make you feel better. I can only ask that you keep your mind clear and your heart true. And rest assured, God will always be there for you, Bilal. I have made this for you. When you decide to use it, remember not to allow the blade to dictate your choices. O oh Lord, all praise and glory belong to you. Upon you we rely, in both hardship and ease. These fools band together to overthrow us. I will lead the attack at the front. You must watch over the city. They threaten our control, our power. Do not disappoint me. Strong men have faith. Send three of our best in. First, we destroy their morale, then, we finish them one by one. Whatever happens, don't come for us. Stand your ground.
I'm going to enjoy this. <laughs> Trust the lion.
Where did that come from? I learned from the best. Brothers, killing brothers. Put an end to this. Be the better man. <laughs> You're not my brother, boy. Show me what you've got. Is this how you treat your master? Let this be the day I finally put you out of your misery. Not today, Umaya. <laughs> It's time for you to join your sister. There will be victories. Victories of the mind and of the soul. Victories that break the chains which bind mankind. You did well, little brother. Victories that unite us as one. Yet this enemy will not surrender.
It will plan. It will linger in the darkness. Waiting for the opportunity to strike for our heart. There will be victories. And there will be losses that break our hearts. Hate not, my brothers, for hate is a terrible thing. War awaits us. May the light prevail. Is this how you express your faith, Bilal? Be finished with this. <laughs> Why? Why did you kill her? Answer me. Your answer is right outside the window. Your faith says a man is judged by his actions. Then what truer way to measure a man than through what he gives? So there she is, my single act of morality. Don't let it be your last.
What do you want to be when you grow up, Bilal? I'm a wall. 